Yes, guys, I am back. We are filming a full service on my Focus. So this will be relevant to anyone who's got a Mark 1 Focus and you were thinking about servicing and how to do it. This video is for you. But yeah, so what we're gonna do, we are gonna jack the car up, obviously do a full service, which is oil, air, and fuel filter. I'm putting in Castrol GTX oil. I'll show you in a bit exactly what we've got, what we're putting in it. Uh, what I don't know is if the Focus ST170 will specific specifically have different filters or not. So I'll show you where they are and how to change them, but the parts might be different per version of the car, like the 1.6 to 1.8, the two liter. But yeah, let's get into this. So the first thing we're gonna change is the air filters. It's the easiest to get to. It looks like 10 mils, maybe eight. So yeah, let's get the parts and we'll get it off. Oh, it's actually, it's actually pretty decent. If you want to take that out. Ah, wow. That's like pretty much brand new. Yeah. Well, that's done at least 7,000 miles. So I bought it on 59 and it's on 67 now. New, old, new, old. I mean, it's a bit different. It's not massively, yeah, it's not. Well, I mean, you know, it could do have been changed, but it's not terrible to be fair. Right, whack the new one. Nailed it. Well ended, I'm just saying that wasn't bad. Lovely, right? Zip that up, air filter, done. Right, next thing we wanna do is take that off, which is the sump plug, which is a 13 mil spanner. So we're just gonna take that off and drain all the oil. Oh, there we go. Ooh, that's quite a lovely color. It's not as black as you'd think, but it's pretty black. No, and it did basically boil the other day as well. So it's- Also, that there is a magnet. Ah. So any that swarf catches any of the crap. Yeah. That's clever. But look, see? Yeah. Look. All the little <laughs> bits of rubbish. Wow. That's impressive and clever and slightly concerning. That's rubber. Don't oh, worry. okay. Thank God. <laughs> So the reason I mentioned that it boiled, uh, I, will, I, meant, I will talk about it in a separate video, completely talking about why it, uh, it broke down, basically. But um, yeah, it got unbelievably hot, and uh, yeah, it was literally uh, boiling, like the coolant was boiling. It was not good, not good, but yeah. So it will be a separate video about why I broke down in the focus. But yeah, so that is just why when I mentioned that the oil boiled, it's not, you know, on purpose, not for fun, you know, it just broke down, it, it, it was a whole situation. But yeah, I'll explain it in another video. So the biggest pig of doing a full filter change on your own Ford Focus is that the oil filter is at the back of the engine there. Right now my dad is using like a crab claw on a ratchet to grab it and spin it. You can do it with your hands, but you might not always be able to actually get the force you need to be able to undo it. So sometimes it's done up too tightly, you might not be able to actually go but yeah, you can do it with your hand, potentially. There you go, there's the oil filter. So yeah, so it's right at the back of the engine, absolute faff to get to, but it's not It's not too bad if you jack the car up or if you have it on, you know, um, on a ramp. It is doable, but yeah, that is where it is, right at the back of the engine, there. So we're about to take that off, put the box underneath it, catch all the oil that sort of drains down it, down the drive shaft, and yeah, hopefully not onto the floor. So the, that is the old oil filter, that is the new oil filter. So as you can see, you know, it's it's reasonably dirty, but obviously it's going to be, it had a couple of issues, but the oil is, it's not completely filthy, but what you do want to do is just get a bit of that oil and rub it round the rubber ring. So when you fit it, it doesn't split or it doesn't tear, you know, just over time, it needs to be lubricated so it doesn't, yeah, get damaged, but that is both oil filters. And it's always good to check that you've got the right one as well. So when you are fitting the filter itself, let me just get it to demonstrate. So when you are fit fitting it yourself, you want to do it by hand and you want to hand tighten it as tight as you can go because you don't want to over tighten it because- you can, If you do it with a machine, you can do it so tight, you can rip that rubber seal, ah. the rubber seal and then it can leak. There you go. So there you go. There you have it. So yeah, you don't want to do it with a machine because you can rip the rubber seal and obviously then you won't have a seal anymore. So yeah, do it by hand and just do it as tight as you can do, but don't overdo it. Just do it sort of as tight as you can, but don't try and, you know, you know. Tight as you can by hand. Yeah, tight as you, ha tight as you can by hand. Next thing you want to do is obviously top up the oil. Uh, we've tightened the sun plug at the bottom. And now, yeah, hopefully you're going to nail this first drive out of funnel, apparently. So let's go. <laughs> oh, oh, hey. Lovely. Yeah, so I've bought Castrol GTX 5W30 AB slash B5, which is Ford specific. So you can buy 5W30 oil and it cannot be for this specific engine. So you want to make sure you get the right specific oil. It's always worth going to Euro car parts and stuff like that just to make sure you get the right one. But yeah. Oil's in. Yeah. 
Oil's o in. Oil's in. Four litres of oil's in. Yeah. Block it all up, so cap back on, dipstick back in. Yeah. Then start it. Pressurise the system. Pressurise the system. Let it run for a bit. Check there's no, nothing leaking, obviously. Yeah. Then then dip it and make sure... Yeah, make, then, yeah, putting the dipstick in, seeing where it's at, yeah. and then just adding the extra bit of oil, yeah. dependent on how much you need. But yeah, so hopefully this will go flawlessly, there'll be no leaks and we won't need to top it up. Or we will and that'll be fine. So we let the car run, we let it pressurise, no leaks, massive thumbs up, thank God for that. And the new oil made it sound so much quieter, so it clearly needed it, it clearly made a massive difference. So yeah, the engine is so much smoother and quieter now ever since changing the oil, which is interesting. Because obviously not always does it make a difference, but it definitely has. Hey, one of the reasons for it being quieter now is because these have hydraulic tappets and obviously the hydraulic tappets have got nice fresh clean oil in them so they're, they're working, working absolutely perfectly yeah. and smoothly so yeah. it takes that that like rattly noise yeah. away from it they have, yeah when you start up it has a little like tappity tap 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 tappity tap 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 noise <laughs> and it, it does sound like quite bad like you know it just is what it is when it's a bit old and yeah older oil but fresh oil it sounds really good it sounds lovely lovely and smooth so the last thing we need to do is change the fuel filter and then we're done. Last but not least is changing the fuel filter. This can be a bit of a faff and not very easy. Uh, I don't know quite how to take it off. It looks like a bung and there's a clip and there's these clips that you're gonna have to undo as you go. But here it is. So if you're looking at it, we're looking at the back of the car underneath and then it's right there. So we're gonna have a look at getting this out this is one of the harder things, so people change them not maybe every time, maybe every other time, just because they can be a bit of a faff. But yeah, let's get into taking this one out. Yes, guys, so that is it. We have managed to swap the fuel filters over. It was not easy. So if you're not maybe a mechanic or maybe mechanically minded, maybe don't tackle that one on your own. And it's definitely advised, I think, to have it on a... Um, on a ramp rather than on, like, axle stands or jacked up, because you do need all the space you can to get underneath the car to move it up to be able to faff about with it but yes guys that is a full service on a mark one focus i hope you've enjoyed and i'll catch you in the next one